Hello there folks and welcome to part 54 of our Neil Robertson Pro career on Snooker 19 and today we start the Manbet X Welsh Open part of course of the Home Nations series, the final Home Nations tournament of the season. And in this round of 32 we play against Jimmy Robertson, a player we haven't played before of course has the last uh, same last name as us so we're going to have to be referring to the players as Neil and Jimmy rather than Robertson and Robertson. <laughs> I actually didn't realise that before we got into this. That would have been quite embarrassing. Robertson to Brian. Yeah, but which one? But uh, yeah, in the first two rounds we excelled pretty easily to be quite honest. We beat Luke Simmons and Daniel Wells who were up against the last 128 and 64 by three frames to nil in both matches. So it was fairly simple. But today we are playing against Jimmy Robertson. Of course, not many tournaments left till the end of the season. Now we've got the Welsh Open, we've got the Shootout, which will be covered in just one video, uh, the Coral Players Championship, the Gibraltar Open, the Tour Championship, the China Open, and then the Betfred World Championship. So let's get into one of the last tournaments of the season, the Welsh Open. Now, a few people have asked, could I have the uh, match length on long? Uh, and I'm going to say no, purely because I don't have the time to do that. As you can imagine, uh, these matches would be on nine frames if they were on long matches. So I'd have to do two episodes every match, which of course not even not even uh, let me put teeth in. Uh, not only lengthens the series in terms of uh, time and pretty much doubling the episodes, but I physically don't have the time either to be Hello, doing Hello, such an amount of rounds, such an amount of videos. It's yeah, just not really conceivable. But I will put the matches to long for the World Championship. I can make an exception for that because I think that that is one tournament where having the right match length is really important. But I think these five frame matches uh, are a good chance to just have a bit of exciting snooker uh, and, and probably replicate. It doesn't quite replicate the nine frame game in course of the length, but it really does in terms of the tension. Uh, and it's in effect a shortened version of... Well, it is a shortened version of that nine frame match, but still has the same sort of tension. That was a decent break off though from Neil. And Jimmy plays a bit of a safety on that one red that was hanging out. And that is pretty good from him. He can't mount at that. But luckily, we can get nicely out of this and just play the one red. Hopefully, it doesn't come back up for the others. Yep, that's absolutely fine. Just safe there. Hopefully, we do a lot better than we did against, than against Brussels last video. If you didn't watch the last video, we actually got beaten three frames to nil by Luca Brussel to be knocked out of the Grand Prix, which is a big shame. But there wasn't really much we could do about it in the end. Brussels was just playing so well that, uh, yeah, he was pretty much unbeatable. But this should be a chance for the first pot to register here. It's a tricky one along the cushion, but I do fancy it. And there we go. There's the first pot of the day. What? Now, the angle's not fantastic on anything here. But uh, I think it'll be a long blue. And a bit of a shot to nothing, to be fair. We know what a prolific long Tricky pot one. Is, so I'd assume he'd take this on. Nope, we've missed it. But as I said, it was a bit of a shot to nothing. Close. Jimmy Robertson one. now does have a bit of a chance. Neil Robertson, one. And that was a bit of a silly shot, really. Well, we should have just played a safety there. Because he did try and get position, admittedly. You could probably tell that. One. And, of course, in missing the shot, it, give, it gave Jimmy position. I've got a pint of orange squash, so apologies if you hear me. Well, I wouldn't be slurping, that would be rude. But if you hear me just gulping the squash at several points, apologies. Got to keep hydrated, though, in such a tense environment. Half a chance here. What a beauty. A player I haven't really heard of, to be honest, Jimmy, but he seems to be pretty high up in the rankings. I think he's 22nd in the rankings, which is something that should definitely be respected. Bear in mind, Bing Tao, who's our nemesis and we usually lose to, is only sort of ranked 20, so Jimmy's not going to be far off that calibre. Although I think it's going to have to be a safety here because he's played it just a little bit too long in terms of his backspin to open up that red by the pink. But no, actually he can. That's fine. Beautiful. Just couldn't see it from that angle. So he's okay for now. 18. And he's starting decently here and that's a decent split of the reds. And luckily, even though he is just nestled in those reds, he does have a chance. Whether he attacks on the black though, he was debatable. It's a little bit of a tricky shot. Looks like it's just going to be a safety, which it is. 
And a very good one at that. Very good safety. Just try and tap a red. Yeah, unfortunately that's opened up a pot for him. But there wasn't really much we could do there. He played a very good safety, it has to be said. Certainly controlling this first frame is Jimmy. Position to take on a color, yeah. That's one of the disadvantages of this short game, I think. If you take one or two frames to get into it, of course, if you take two frames to get into it and lose both of those first two, it's very much a must-win situation already. Whereas in that nine-frame format, if you do go if two or even three nil down, there is time to compose yourself and come back into it. But that's no excuse for us. We've won plenty of these five frame matches before. We just need to get into it here. But Jimmy Robertson, to be fair to him, hasn't given us a chance. In it, goes. it was just, just little, being a little bit gullible, I would argue, taking on that pot without really thinking about position. Uh, that's a top shot. On the blue, that is. And I'd say it's without 32. a ridiculous shot from Jimmy now. It'll be his first frame. So, just this black needed. It's just the black needed. We now need snookers. But I'm sure we'll get a few more shots on the board. And we'll just end up conceding this whether he next misses. He might well clean up, but I can't see that. Well, he might do. You never know. Got a tricky shot to take on here, though. That's a good pot. And that's a 50 break. 52. Yeah, he's got the red. Got the yellow. And of course, he'll have to play a safety now. Because he's actually snookered himself. But at this point, of course, with 35 remaining, it's not going to matter at all. And uh, we'll, we might as well take the red pot now. I will just concede the frame. So, Jimmy Robertson, bit of a surprise. We concede our first frame of the Welsh Open, and Jimmy Robertson goes one all up. Probably just thinking here, noise outside. I think there's a plane or something just passing at the moment. Jimmy making his break then. He might leave a bit of an opener here. But no, the angle's not there. Unfortunately. Hmm. What can we play here? He's played a decent break, to be fair to him. Well, he's looked at a number of options here. The balls haven't really changed, but the more you look, the harder it gets. That'll do. You'd have to cut it to pot it, so it'll be a safety, I'd guess. He's just played it very soft. Fair play. Obviously, there's room. I'm just checking. There is room for that red to go in. It's a bit of a shot to nothing, really. If it doesn't go in, it won't matter so much. No, not this time. Well, Close that's a bit of a shock. And, it did, and to be fair, that cue ball didn't travel as far as I thought it would. I suppose it hit that pretty thick, well, so not on. much of a surprise. And Jimmy Robertson started again. One. Well, two mistakes. First frame on that blue. Now on the red, well, he's just missed Jimmy the brown. But let's face it, doesn't leave anything on. This shot needs to be right. Well, ho ho ho! Oh. So annoying. Right, let's try that again a bit harder, just to make sure we hit them. That was what we were going for first time round. Just tried to play his way out there, interesting.
try and roll it past the pack effectively. End up on the top cushion. Ah, we'll take that. We'll certainly take that over the opportunity that Jimmy had to potentially make a good break. I'm shocked he didn't really. We'd missed that red and I thought well he'd go for it and then try and open it up but clearly he missed that uh, brown and it's a bit of a mistake. That looks very safe to me. Well, this is building up to be a really interesting test of their safety skills. Ooh, a bit thicker but I think he gets away with it. That red would definitely go but this one here as you can see that's just blocked off the one that effectively the aiming aid sets up for. But uh, no that wouldn't go, that would go rather but... We can't get to it. Now this red would go. And it would provide a bit of safety for us as well. So we might as well give it a shot. Well, it goes. Half a chance. No, not quite. Depends how far that red travels up the table, whether we're going to get lucky or not. I think it's in line with that blue, so I don't think we can get to it. But our potting, which is usually our... Really strong game. It's been quite weak today. Hmm. Has he left a potential pot here? Well, he's left a few, but nothing conclusive. So, we'll just try and get up the table. Block off any sort of pot, even though it was pretty disastrous because he's just opened up that wrong pot. <sighs> Still struggle with the with the the gauge, you know, with with how hard you have to hit pots. I mean, that was a fantastic pot. But we are struggling here. Pop this into the left corner pocket. Lost a bit of confidence since that game with Brussels, certainly on camera. I remember I played. You know, it was only recently I played those games. I remember playing pretty well against the likes of Daniel Wells. So, not sure what's happened really. This should be okay. But down it, down to. This is no gimme. Count your chickens just yet. Good there we go. And unfortunately, we're not going to be lucky enough to get on the black. That's a stinker. Or are we, actually? No, we are. Okay. Just travelled a bit more than I thought it would. So we got a bit lucky there. Hit this with some pace. Try and split the reds without potting one of them, ideally. Right, now we've got a bit of a chance. Need to use this to our advantage. A little bit harder than I've wanted there, but we don't pay a price. Nine. He's playing for the right corner here. Should be a fine pot. Ooh, just no, touches the cushion, there. but we get away with that. Great technique. Superb queuing. Fourteen. Setting this up for the pink. A little bit underscrew purely because of the shot power that we didn't follow through, but luckily this Butte Blue's on hand and that's fairly straight, so once again, a bit of a get out of jail free. Got a pot it though, which we have. In it goes. Great Twenty. I think I'll go for this one while we've got the chance. Because those sort of pots can trip you up a bit later in the game. Can he drop this into the right corner? Oh dear. Neil Robertson. Not accurate today. I don't know what's up. I really don't. Hmm. Yeah, that's got an opportunity definitely now. We were just starting to make a bit of a composed break, but ultimately it didn't really turn into anything what? in the end. That's the black that will go, as we've seen before. Eight. We've just got to hope he makes a mistake. That's well played with the rest. 
Nine. Hmm. Twelve. He's playing well here, to be fair. We could find ourselves like against Brussels being 2 0 back. And I don't want to say it too early. Potentially a bit of a He's looking to pop this into the early knockout. The slow red, but still went in regardless. He's right and now the pink. The game at the moment. 13, 19. It gets a bit worrying if we get 2 0 behind, to be fair. But we only played that. We've only won one game on hard that we played on camera, haven't we? That uh, who was it? No, it was round of sixteen. It's against Maguire, wasn't it? Yeah, three-one. We won that, and then we seemed to crumble in the quarter-final against Brussels. Of course, that round of thirty-two in the Grand Prix against Gould was on medium difficulty, so a little bit different. He's an expert long potter. But this frame by no means over, and you just missed that blue. Jimmy quite Robinson. comprehensively, but you feel the AI have a a good way of getting out of things, or at least trying to get out of things, or getting lucky rather, uh, when they've missed a pot. That's not the best position, to be honest. But, well, do we go for that extravagant blue? I think we have to, really. There we go, it's bounced in. We had a bit of faith for once and it worked, surprisingly. Now the ball's back in our court. Should win this frame now. Particularly given where all the balls are placed. But it's no mistake snooker from here on. Sometimes we thrive under that, sometimes we really struggle. further up this time so we're going to screw back for the oh the pink a little bit over screwed but no issue just not ideal that it's right on the cushion to be fair no that's not ideal hmm I'm going to have to go for this it's pretty hard but hopefully it works. Need to get onto this cushion basically and just pop the red. Which we have done pretty well to be honest. 17. More than happy with that. Then we can get back in position for the black. The this red's here. crucial though. And there we go. That's a top shot. Well Play this black and just follow through. 18. Hopefully being pretty decently parallel with the yeah uh, the red. That's not the greatest position, but it's certainly uh, we can cope with it. This is pretty big for the frame, I'd argue. Wouldn't worry so much about position. Just get the pot right, which we have. Oh, that's a top shot. And that was, I think, the crucial one in the frame. I would say. Happy with that. Twenty-six. Trying to make sure we can open up the yellow. Be the worst yellow. thing to get to this position and then have the blue blocking it. 31. Just the colours to go. Bit of a risky shot here. I don't know how this is going to work out. Mm. Yeah, the bounce just wasn't enough. 33. Well, 15 ahead, 25 to go. Certainly not conclusive, this isn't. I'm going to try uh, not really into this well, it goes. Half a middle here. pocket. No, it wasn't enough angle. But that's now a bit trickier. Neil Robertson, 33. No, he bottled it there.
And, I mean, we got a bit lucky there, but it was risk and reward, and I thought we'd got away with that. We would get away with that, which I think we have. Got to produce a long pot on this red to open up the open up the brown, but that's just about right. Brilliant. And that opens up the brown. And being 18 ahead, this is frame ball. And there we go. Barring any silly mistakes now. It's uh, it's one frame each in this match. Might as well try and clear up here. He's aiming to sink this into the right corner. Great shot. Not ideal on the pink, but uh, certainly possible. He's aiming to sink this into the right corner. It's a little bit off. We're not quite going to make that. But it doesn't matter in the context of things because the deficit has been equaled. So, our break again. Both players making a few mistakes in that frame, it has to be said. This doesn't look like a half bad break. It would have been better if we'd have got behind the yellow. Absolutely, it would have been a lot better. But sometimes, kind of everything... And that, ooh, nearly was the first pot for Jimmy there. And we've got pretty lucky because he's brought the red back up the tab with him, which opens up a very easy starter for us, which we cannot complain about. And now it's very much in the look of the gods. We play this uh, blue. The shot that can go really right or really wrong. Looks like a good split to me, but we won't know ultimately until all the balls stop. That one will go. I'm happy with that. But I think I'm going to take that one onto the middle. It's just a little bit less risk. You'll want this to drop into the centre pocket. And there you go. Oh, wonderful shot. Probably would have liked to have been a little bit straighter on that blue. Uh, which means probably going to have to play the, this into the right green corner. now. Which wasn't the best, and oh come on, this needs to keep going. Hopefully the blue doesn't block anything here, which it doesn't. But this isn't a bad start to the frame. Bit of a shame those two reds are there, or else that would have been great for the black. Get rid of those, I suppose, though, over time. Have a look if that will go. I know we're on a, not on a red, but if we screw back to a similar position, then we just know it's worth it. Long pot, right Tricky pot. And we've missed so it. Close. He needed some luck there and he didn't get it. I don't know why. I'm just not patient enough with those shots. And we've put the blue down all the way down Neil to the bottom Robinson. of the table. 11. Really not good enough there. We wanted to take control. Filed by all accounts. He's taking this red on. What's he taking on? He's taking that one on. That's brave. Really close, but That's stupid. Close yeah, Dutch courage. Stupid courage. <laughs> Never mind anything else. That was bonkers. I don't know why he played that at all. I mean, some of my shots are pretty stupid, but so come on, they're not that bad. That shot was perfectly set up for a safety, but he decided against it. And a mistake already from Jimmy, and Seven. we're back in control here. Which is something I'm definitely not going to complain about. Although we could do we move in the getting the blue back to its position pretty quickly. Although it might go a little bit too far to open up the blue here. No, it's okay. But we might have to... Hmm. Does this red by the black spot get past the black? I don't want to play the red, or the red obviously. I uh, don't think it does, does it? So we're going to have to get on the bottom cushion, but... I mean, actually, there's that one that goes, isn't there? The one on the bottom of the pack, well, if you look at it. Nobody could accuse him of rushing here. Shut up, Hendon, you plonk. 
I think it goes anyway. I didn't check, but uh, fingers crossed it does the one at the bottom of the pack. 13. Yeah, it does. A little bit tighter than I wanted, but should Just be fine. This into the left bit of a weird pocket. camera angle, but there, well. That's still got the part. Be if he's not anything here. And that was a great 15. split. Sometimes a good split's all you need. This hard difficulty is definitely forcing us to play well, which is definitely a welcome addition. Oh, for crying out loud. <sighs> Equally, I don't know why. I wouldn't make these mistakes before. That's a stupid shot. I'd never have made them sort of mistakes before. That's unbelievable. Can't see any problems here. Well, now he's got another chance. Just again, you know, it was a 20-odd break just when we were trying to open something up. It's getting back to bloody world snooker. Four levels, this is. Eight. Which I don't think I have to play in this. I'd like to play ever again, but uh, there you go. Not a fan of this bulk of reds down here. I'm sure he'll get rid of them. So red neck, uh, sorry, blue next, but after that I don't know how, well, I'm sure he'll magically get it into some sort of position, but I struggle to see how. 20. So it's just going to be a safety it looks like from this point. From Jim. Now are these two balls touching? No, they're I'm not. Sure there, but it's a poor result. So that is now a chance. 20. Bit of a shocker. Into the right corner. And there you go. Tremendous spot. I'm surprised he left that sort of shot open. Maybe he didn't realise like we don't sometimes. But we've needed three chances. So we want to make sure this one is the one where we win the frame. I don't think anybody's potted the black yet, have they? Straightforward. Well, they might get a chance now. That being said, what's that red going to do in terms of blocking it? No, it's going to be okay. Good stuff. Now playing for a little bit more freedom around the black. Don't want them to run too far. That was about its limit. Mm, it's too far. 16. But luckily, we do have the pink, which we can go long on. It's pretty much a straight pot. And there we go, the long pink's there. Some people have massively criticised how easy that sort of shot is, but on that occasion, to be fair, it was straight, so... I don't know if you can moan too much. That's better position on the black, but still not fantastic. So, positionally, this shot makes the most sense here. Even though we've fluffed that up potentially. What was that? Focusing way too much on position. I could just see, you know, we were one or two pots, possibly yeah, that. Well, ooh. What's he going to do now? Going to have to be the green. How many's behind though? No, he's 30 behind, 35 remaining, but he's missed the red. That was a safety measure, definitely. Of course, we're 30 ahead with 35 remaining. Come on, blue. Hopefully that snookered it. That's what he was going for. Looks good, and the commentators confirm it. He's got out the snooker, but ooh. Leaves a potential pot, and I fancy that. This, is a this for the shot. frame. And it's there. A very bizarre frame, and a bizarre match so far. Has to be said, neither player at the best of their abilities. 
But ultimately, providing we don't make a silly mistake now, this is a 2-1 uh, lead. We'll pop the yellow just to make Seven. it crystal. Sure. Well, he's looking at potting this into the right corner pocket. We won't pop the yellow then. A few mistakes starting to trickle into our game. Which is concerning. But he concedes the frame anyway. It's 2 1. And a maximum of two frames left in this last 32 match of the Welsh Open. Ooh, interesting break. Very thick. But does he leave anything on? That's a potential. I like the look of that. Of course, a bit of a risk if we miss this. It's there. Oh, I thought the cue ball was in there. We'll have two for the price of one. That one's just gone into the left middle. I would like replays uh, for that reason, really. Don't get any shot replays, which I find a bit of a shame. But it'd be great just for that sort of shot. Especially when you don't know you've potted one. There's, there's horrible occasions where you think, huh? How the hell am I still at the table? Did I pot one? It'd be great for those sort of occasions to see what you did. But we've got off to a good start in this frame. It's not a mega start. We need to calm down just a little bit, but equally, we've got the measure. Need to play with some backspin. I don't know why I didn't think of that before uh, to get on that red, of course, to the middle. Had a bit of a brain freeze there almost. What, what should I play? But every point matters. It's not crucial we win it in this frame at all, but it would be good if we could. There's only one choice of red, so that was the... Oh, okay, there's the two choices, and I think that's the one we'll go for. A lot less risk than the other. I've been sure said we've got to pot it, and... Uh, I don't know if they've made pro harder, but we're missing a lot more shots than we should be. Never miss this, man this many shots usually. We're usually pretty much bang on. Well, it goes. Half a chance here. And now he's Mr. Red. I mean, it's quite literally who can pot. <laughs> That's what snooker's all about. But goodness me, with the pedigree of these players, you'd think that the potting game would be a lot more impressive. Luckily, that red's there, which we've got rid of. Long pot on the blue. Well, no I can't believe he didn't take that opportunity. Chance. And that might be his downfall in this game. But frame by no means over yet. There's still a lot of reds left. He's got nice position on the blue ball here. Just building up points though as we go. This should be a nice eleven points now. Get the blue. Backspin for the red. Get that. Get another blue. And then hopefully get into the pack. All about a bit of luck, these sort of shots are. Don't want to quite be straight on with the blue, because that makes it a little bit awkward to get the spin to get good contact with the reds. As you can see, we don't need to play much backspin to get a good contact with these reds. Just hope we don't pop one. It's a decent split. Can't complain. Opens up one or two opportunities. Fortunately, the black's not going to be an open opportunity, which stinks a bit. So I think we'll go for this one to the mid. He's lining this one up to the middle pocket. 
Don't put it behind the pink. Oh, we got lucky there. Play the yellow here. We can come back the type down the table though. He's going for it. That being said, we haven't come down anywhere near as much as I thought we would. But there's a few opportunities still. A little bit more awkward than desired, but again, this should be okay. As far as I'm concerned. But we've missed a few of these today. And again. The pockets just aren't so forgiving, it seems. Might be a new update or something, but those shots were going every single day. Still got the pro aiming aid, not pro plus. Great opportunity to get back I think the trick possibly might be to play with less power, I'm not sure, but seems weird that those sort of shots aren't going in. Black should go here, but he's going for the yellow, which he's missed. Oh, that that well, if it was a safety attempt, it was a very bizarre one. Was that? Had everyone puzzled, I think, including himself. There. Plenty of opportunities here. We will take the blue one, seeing as we're bang on straight. I can get decent position from it as well, which is the most important bit. A little bit much in terms of power there. But there's still plenty of balls on the table we can go for. It's not all over. Apply for the pink, I think. So, this pot into the right corner. Good pot, there we go. Well Don't know what the score situation is. Find out shortly, I presume. 13. 50 ahead. Christ. Sorry if you can hear children screaming outside now. Don't worry, that's not my back guard. <laughs> oh, I mean, we can joke. Probably have the police here in a minute for saying something like that. You always get a big humour around here, don't you? Getting good stuka though is another thing that you might not get. Buy that with a little bit less power and it works. That should effectively remove any ideas his opponent may have of a comeback. But this is a good good frame. We've controlled it. Mm, got to play the pink. Not really got much choice. This is really tricky. Tricky one. But it's there. I didn't realise how close that red was to the cushion, to be fair. But I think we should have enough now. I mean, we're, yeah, we're 64 ahead, for goodness sake. So we should be safe and fine. Better 20-point gap to what he actually needs. So we're 64 ahead with 43 remaining. And on that, that is going to be the last shot. Very close. Bloody wind. Jesus Christ. Turn your heading out there. But anyway, a <laughs> little bit of a diversion. We have won the last 32 match after the first frame and a half, seeming like, ooh, we might have to come back from 2-0 down here. But we control proceedings and we have won our last 32 match against Jimmy Robertson. Three frames to one. So who have we got in the last 16? Let's find out. Do we continue the pattern of playing people we haven't played before or do we have a familiar opponent? Getting exciting, isn't it now? Again, somebody who I haven't played before. This is unbelievable. We're playing against Joe Perry then in the fourth round. Ranked at number 18. Very solid player. Uh, as you can see, ranked at number 18. They're just below Ryan Day and Dave Gilbert. But uh, yeah, we've got the last 16 then in the next episode, which is very, very intriguing. But that will be on, well, tomorrow, of course. It'll be out tomorrow on the channel at 6 p.m as usual but if you enjoyed that match leave a like down below comment as well if you enjoyed and subscribe for four videos of snooker 19 every single week on the channel apart from that though folks i've been ti gaming and until next time i'll see you guys later goodbye for now